Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing my fake crate for the month of October, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think it's October. They're very behind, um, but I think they're catching up because I also have my November box already. So um, I will be posting that video next. So they came like two days apart or maybe like a week because um, I had this one for a week now. So the other one just received, came like two days ago. So anyways, they're catching up. So that's good. Um, so let's go ahead and open it and get through these. Um, I will say this subscription box is not my favorite to receive. I do not like their items to be honest, but yeah, and I already opened these just because, you know. Um, so we have the spoiler card right here and here's this one's theme, um, which is... What is this one it's called? Stronger Together. So, yeah. Um, so it has all the spoilers on this side. Um, so the first thing we see here is this, and I'm already kind of mad already. Cause I like got three of the items when I received this box, and I was I got mad because they're fucking they're shitty. Um, and this this just is getting me mad again. But they're baking cups. Um, and literally, there's nothing special to these. They're literally just, like, these cheap-ass plastic baking cups that you get from, like, Dollar Tree or some shit. Um, so, yeah, this it's very upsetting. Because <laughs> um, these boxes are not cheap either. Like, $40. So, it's like, okay. Um, let's see. They're cast baking cups. Produced by Sweet and Tarts, um, and then there are, I don't know, they're just cats, bacon eats, cups, whatever. Doesn't really tell me what's inspired by, so. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty mad. Um, the next item we have is, seems to be like a necklace of some sort, um, which, let me see if I can get it out of here. Um... Oh, wow. Um, okay. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, it's just a very really cheap necklace, which, um, it's cute, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's just like a simple, like, tidal wave or something. Um, it's inspired by the girl who fell beneath the sea. Um, I... I'm not gonna use that. Let's just say that. Um, the next thing we have is this box right here. Um, and this is seen to be inspired by We Hunt the Flame. And it's an acrylic Ferris wheel. Um, so let's go ahead and open that up, I guess. Um, okay, so it seems like I need to build this. So I'm just gonna answer a video of what it looks like when it's all built which i don't know if i will because it seems like to be a lot of work um but there seems to be a video on how to build it so i'm gonna build it real quickly um afterwards and then just insert a clip of how it's supposed to look like um because yeah um hey okay so I tried building the like the acrylic stand or whatever, um, Ferris wheel thingy, which as you can see, I broke it. So this thing is useless now. Um, but I guess I should show you guys the actual pieces um, from the Ferris wheel. I don't know if anyone cares, but yeah, I fucking broke it. So that's cool. That's probably be the middle piece. And then we have like the little characters. Um, yeah, I broke it. So, I guess, you know, this box isn't good. But I'll just show you guys the little characters that were supposed to be on the first wheel. So, yeah, these are like the little characters that were supposed to go on the first wheel and spin and stuff. But I broke the acrylic stand, so it doesn't work no more. So, there you go. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, I'm not filling this box. <laughs> um, anyways, we have a Polaroid picture that they always do. Um, so there's that. Um, and it says the real human experience. Um, it's cute or whatever. Um, and that is inspired by, let's see. The Polaroid is the Witch King, uh, which I do on the book. I haven't read it yet, but I do want to read it. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, okay. So then we have this art print right here, which is actually the author's letter on the back of that. So if you're interested, you could pause and read that. And then we have, oh wait. There's actually one more item, um, which is just this little thingy. Um, again, all of these items are so cheaply made. Um, the quality is just not there. And it just doesn't compare to any other description boxes. And the reason I keep, the reason I keep getting this box is because um, I like their book choices that they do. Anyway, the reason I keep getting this description box is because I like their books that they choose, and I love what they do with the book covers. So I keep getting it, and there's not there isn't a book only option, which I wish they had because these items are never good. Um, but yeah. Um, this is a, um, it's a wristlet, inspired by So This Is Ever After by a T. Lookins. Um, there's that. Again, this box is shit, but, <laughs> um, let's move on to the book, which is my favorite, and I love what they did with the cover. It's The Sunbury Trials by Aiden Thomas. This is my favorite book of 2022. I really love this book. Um. It's so good and you guys should read it. Um, but I love what they did with the cover. The cover is absolutely stunning. So that's the reason why I got this box because of the book. Um, and I love the cover. And then there's some, you probably can't tell, but there is some like inner red scent falling on it, but it's very pretty. So I'm just, the box is terrible, but I love what they did with the book cover. But they don't do nothing special besides that. Um, so yeah, there's no spread edges or anything. And then the end pages are just the standard edition um, map. Because all the regular edition of this book come with this um, map on the end pages. And then on the naked hardback, we have the skull, which is also just on the standard book. Um, so if you get like the regular edition of this book, it will have the little skull on it. Um, and then nothing on here. And then they also, it is signed by the author as well because all of their books are signed usually. So yeah, um, I ended up putting the book plate inside here. Um, yeah, so it came with a signed book plate and I just put it there because they don't really fit anywhere else. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think of this box. I think it's terrible, but I just get it for the book. Cause I like what they do with the covers. Um, but yeah, you probably have a few more boxes coming in, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna put up with them. I think I might just end up just getting, cause they usually announce the books beforehand. So I think I'm just gonna get the ones with the books that I'm really intrigued in and then just not pick up the rest. Cause I do have until February already paid for. So we'll see. Um, it's crazy to say that because it's literally, anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just not happy with the subscription box, but yeah, let me know. Just comment below your thoughts, um, and like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next box, which is going to be the November subscription box of this. So, <laughs> all right. Bye guys.